Viewer discretion is advised. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hello, people. How's it going? What's up? How you doing, Slayer, Neko, and Bloody Crow? Welcome. Welcome to the Chris the Narc stream. Thank you, boys. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, the YouTube channel and to the Twitch channel here. This is um this is unprecedented. And I didn't think this shit was gonna happen. I'll be real with you. This is amazing. The Act Man video, Justice for Act Man, explaining the situation. Uh, my thoughts on what to move forward on quantum on all of those things has resulted in me being able to hit monetization on YouTube. I did not think that was going to happen within a month. What's nine plus 10? 21. 20, 21. Oh shit. DR bear with a shit ton of biddies. What the fuck? You should have quantum with a dunce head on instead of his head as an emo. Maybe. I kind of like the cucumber idea better, but I don't know if Twitch is going to get mad at me for that one. YouTube has actually responded to the act, man. There's been a response on their end. <sighs> yeah, it's not the response we were expecting, boys and girls. Optimus tweets, Quantum slash his community have doxxed and harassed people, ban evaded, and said they wish there was more victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting, etc., that was cool, but apparently Ackman threatening to dox YouTube employees, and that was the line you drew. LOL, gotcha. Justice for Ackman. So YouTube's response to the entire situation directly sent to the Ackman. As discussed, your YouTube partnership suspension followed your now-deleted tweets threatening to dox the families of YouTube employees and creators. We don't take these decisions lightly. Yeah, sure you don't. You know, if you actually did, you would have banned a certain individual um, a long time ago. Yeah, the Ackman channel is still up. That's good. You know, it hasn't been taken down. It hasn't. Let's take a look here. We'll keep working with you directly on this. Yeah, okay. Sure. Pog. Pog champ. A certain bald Nimrod. Yeah, well, I promised I wasn't gonna bring him up on uh, the channel anymore, so I'm not gonna. I'm I'm not gonna say his name. But all the tweets that I'm reading may or may not say his name. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not. I'm not saying a goddamn thing. It's mostly the tweets. So I hate that you guys are spamming that fucking emote right now. Their response to protect the YouTube community. As a YouTube creator, you should remain responsible. For on and off the platform. Ironic because a certain bald bastard is not doing that. But the act man pointing out hypocrisies and making satirical jokes. Sure. Sure, YouTube. That makes sense. If we see that a creator on or off the platform behavior harasses our users, community, employees, or ecosystem. Remember this part. The employees part. The employees part. I want you guys to remember that part, the employees part or ecosystem. We may take action to protect the community beyond the content you uploaded on YouTube. There are some examples of on and or off platform behavior that we may consider to be inappropriate and result in penalties intending to cause malicious harm to others, participating in abuse or violence, demonstrating cruelty and participating in fraudulent deceptive behavior that leads to real world harm. But basically, YouTube has reached out to the act man saying that his his content is dangerous and potentially is dangerous to the YouTube community. Now, you're thinking to yourself, why? Why would this be a dangerous YouTube community situation? Why? What is what is going on here that this is being warranted? So the act man responds to YouTube. While I appreciate this, the Unmistakable satire of YouTube's inaction to do anything about my family being doxxed by another content creator. Common sense would suggest being a victim of doxing. That I would never wish doxing on other people seriously. Now you're sitting here going, how the fuck did YouTube come to that goddamn situation there? Actman provides context as to why YouTube is saying this information here. Saying that instead of 
Quantum being attacked. I shouldn't say his name. Fuck. Instead of Quantum being uh, basically hit with demonetization or a ban or anything, they go after the act, man. Now, the context as to why are these old tweets from the act, man. Now, these, I'm going to preface it, this information here. This is context. These are jokes that were made at YouTube's expense because they refused to do anything about the actual doxing situation of quantum doxing at man's mother, calling her directly and doing the subtle threats of litigation. This is basically him just poking fun at YouTube, not doing anything. I am excited to announce a new series of videos I'll be making on YouTube called Doxing Adventures with Ackman. In it, I will be doxing and harassing the family members of, I'm not saying that, because YouTube will get mad at me, and other, I'm not saying that either, to be sure to have lots of family fun. This right here, with YouTube's new policy changes that allow doxing and invasion of privacy, I'm fully allowed to make these videos. Please stay tuned in the next new generation of advertiser-friendly content. So, that is the context here. There's another context. Feeling spontaneous might use my YouTube channel to promote hate speech that advocates for gun violence, I mean, for violence against protected groups. Luckily, YouTube is the perfect place for someone like me. These are all satirical tweets. They're all satirical. Not a single one of them are actually calling for anything. And YouTube takes that as a serious response. And demonetizes the Actman's video because of that, which is psychotic. Whoever is handling Actman's case is fucking up really goddamn hard. Oh, you say burger, bunger, game bunger. This situation with the Actman is becoming a serious problem, a serious fucking problem. That YouTube took these satirical tweets, poking fun at them as a legitimate cause to demonetize his video across the board and taking it seriously. But the thing is, is that these tweets were deleted. Now you're sitting to yourself, you're like, well, YouTube could probably still look that stuff up, right? YouTube could still basically take you down if it's for even deleted tweets. Um, right here, Ackman's answer, which I think is the best fucking clap back. Wait, I thought you guys could investigate tweets if they were deleted. Now you're sitting there going, how the, f what the fuck does that mean? Remember when, uh, the video that was taken down on Ackman's channel was full of evidence. The actually the copyright abuser one, the original one had a bunch of evidence of deleted tweets and deleted information. And then YouTube's response was, oh, it's not actually active. We can't investigate this. It's been deleted. How come the Ackman's tweets that were deleted and made a satirical jest Cause a, cause a strike on his channel, demonetization on his channel across the board. Why are they giving Quantum full reign, but Actman gets fucked due to satirical tweaks, tweets? That doesn't make any sense. And then I know Slayer, you said something about Susan. Whoa, Jicky. Holy shit. What's she doing now? Uh, something about... Pride Month. Well, look at the replies. Okay, uh, which one? I, uh, you know what? Let's take it this. Oh, people are literally fucking tweeting at her right goddamn now about that. Dolan Dark. Yo! Dol oh, that's Dolan Dank. I thought that was Dolan Dark. I was about to get fucking excited. I was about to get really fucking excited. Uh, let's take a look here. Wow, 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 wow. They even posted the gay satanic atheist agenda meme. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. What is? What about your company is actively empowering Quantum TV who has been posting hateful content and you dare to silence the act man for criticizing on YouTube? That is also true. What? What is the highest tweet right now? 180? There needs to be more. There needs to be more fucking likes. If you're so for Pride Month, why does Quantum TV still have a channel? And why did you strike down Ackman for calling it out? Ooh, wow. That's, um, that's fucked. That's fucked. That's legitimately fucked. What is this? 
YouTube has known for over a month that my family was doxxed by Quantum TV, and for over a month, these videos encouraging more people to dox my family have remained up and fully monetized. YouTube, this is the entirety. It, YouTube is the only entity that thinks Quantum TV is innocent. That is a response from Ackman six hours ago. Quantum TV stands are real. This changes everything. You lost because you threatened to kill him on sight. Called a unity for his death. What? With the act, bro, and whoever else. Falsely claimed he threatened your mother. With, in reality, he just asked them not to be involved. And you made jokes of the emails. You deserve to lose. Bro, what kind of drugs is motherfucker smoking? Are you on methamphetamines? <laughs> I love that. That's fucking great. Mainstream articles about the situation. Review tech? Let's go see what Rich has to say. No, I wasn't saying I want Christian. Oh, wow. Somebody deleted their tweet. They're fucking stupid. What is this? This is the same guy that cried that I took an unflattering still from his public YouTube video. He's such a hypocritical piece of garbage. Quantum TV has no involvement in anything and is... Wait. And is innocent. Oh, but literally today was speaking. He wait, what was as we speak is directing his followers to his next target. This guy is coming after my settings. Oh my God. He's going after ninjitian again. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? How many times? If that is actually in his Discord at the current moment, Quantum has not learned jack shit. So what's this article saying? I fucking hate mainstream media right now. I really do. But in the event that something like this is happening, this is what we gotta do. You're getting your bong bloody? All right, sick. It is official. YouTube has now stooped to a new low. The Actman's channel has been completely demonetized. Actman has been part of the YouTube community for about seven years now, and all his work and loyalty to the platform has been seemingly ignored, and his channel is in grave peril. YouTube has failed to enforce its TOS, and the Actman's latest video outlining the abuse of TOS and the copyright system by Quantum has been pulled from the platform. There is, there is way to tell whether... Wait, there is way to tell whether Quantum TV had this video removed, but the connection is clear as day. The Ackman's age, Dark Age of YouTube video was pulled for deliberately promoting nudity, which is a baseless accusation as the video just spoke about YouTube shortcomings in Quantum TV's content. I'm telling you, the bot pick... I'm telling you, it's either the conspiracy theory of the false flagging that I'm seeing, which I can't prove, nor can anybody, or the bot picked up on the cucumber. Those are the only things I can fucking think of right now. Uh, which is baseless accusation. This attack on a beloved channel like the Ackman has provided quality content over the years. It un is unfair. This is no excuse as to why YouTube defends Quantum TV, which is even stranger considering his it is Pride Month and LG and Quantum TV has used hateful language when talking about the LGBTQ plus community. YouTube has failed to upload the TOS that it stands for and has completely failed its content creators who have literally given years of quality content to the platform. This all began in March when Quantum TV posted a hilariously bad take on Elden Ring. I love how the guy who wrote this article immediately brings up the Elden Ring review just to give context. Again, it's fucking psychotic that that's the case here. It was just fucking hilarious. It's goddamn hilarious. Thank you. Every donation is fucking well appreciated and will help make this stream a lot better. It really will. Uh, his opinions about Elden Ring were filled with hate, which other content creators critiqued on their works. Now, you're asking yourself, what's the hate? Kill yourself. Y'all are losers. You know, stuff like that. You know, very mild things that YouTube just doesn't have a problem with, apparently. Uh, Quantum TV is also known copyright abuser on youtube he has used the copyright system on multiple occasions to take down videos from other channels on the platform platform with impunity there is still no rule or system in place that protects content creators on youtube from creators like quantum tv which is fucking insane notorious coop no family who me i don't have a family yeah i'm broke i don't got no family y'all i don't need none of that shit no i'm kidding i i love my family some of them uh, the only difficulty change I want for Elden Ring is to make it harder. Bro, you're a masochist. I barely finished that game. 
I'll spend most of my money on the stream. DR Bear, Jesus! Calm down, <laughs> please. It's so funny. It's amazing, but like, goddamn, brother. So this is the thing that I kind of have an issue with, and I, I watched um, Moist Critical's video, the one that was linked in my Discord. Um, when he was talking about, like, me... So this is the thing. He literally, literally met with Susan and the head of compliance on YouTube, or the head of some division in YouTube, met with both of them. Met with both of them, right? He suggested, hey... There needs to be a fix to the copyright system that you have in place. Instead of striking the video immediately, maybe allow to use the editor to take out the part that is against the TOS. Right? Think about it like that. Think about it on that level. Remove the section that is currently causing issues on the, on the video breaking TOS. Give them three to five days to get it fixed. They can remove it, and then YouTube doesn't have to strike their channel, right? So, Critical presented that to Susan. And Susan apparently said, oh, that's a great idea. Uh, we should definitely look into that. It has been two years. Two years Critical brought that up. And they said, the head of YouTube, the CEO, and another head said, yeah, that sounds great. But have not done nothing. On top of that, the abuse of the copyright system, there's nothing in place as a fail-safe. If you get a DMCA strike, there's no manual review at all. There's nothing on YouTube's end to be like, hey, we need to protect the creator and make sure that this is actually like 100% what it needs to be, which is ridiculous. There's no way of doing it. They're also talking about the fact that this video has been demonetized. Every video has been demonetized that involves Ackman, which this... This is just a small news outlet, but like, let's say like the Washington Post, BBC, or any of those other companies get a hold of it. YouTube's fucked. Oh, I forgot to mention something. I forgot to mention something. I forgot to bring it up. I'm going to tell you guys something real quick. Listen. This is, th th I'm going to say something that sounds crazy. If I had to pick a YouTuber that I genuinely detest, detest, I detest this YouTuber, right? I literally detest them. If you're saying Quantum, I don't like Quantum, but I don't, I kind of, I detest him, but not to the level that I detest I'm J Station. Now you're wondering, Chris, why the fuck are you bringing up J Station in a video about Actman? Well, it looks like the king of y using dead celebrities, harassment, doxing, and all other kind of shit is trying to call, crawl back to relevance. J Station is a douchebag. I'm saying it right here. J Station is the biggest piece of shit to ever have a platform on YouTube or anywhere. J, if you watch this video by some miracle... I'm going to tell you to your goddamn face. Fuck you. J Station, you are the biggest piece of shit on planet Earth. And J Station maybe had the worst take out of anybody on the Ackman situation. Quantum TV has better takes on the Ackman situation than J Station. Unironically, J Station tweeted out his channel isn't even go isn't even growing but i call for his termination in reference to quantum tv in defense of quantum tv claiming act man is a psycho instead of countering the copyright claim in court he decides this will take his career to the next level then got demonetized fail of the year Fail of the year. Th that is the most unironic statement coming from the man who used Mac Miller XXX and I, I, I'm not going to say his name. I want to respect those people. I, I shouldn't have even said Mac and XXX. I shouldn't have said it. 
I shouldn't have said their names, but you know which celebrities he was using. And one of them was a great YouTuber. And he, this fucking scumbag, Satan-worshipping dipshit that started the 3 a.m. trend that is fucking plaguing the dumbasses of YouTube, decided to fucking put his two cents in. Let's see what the quote tweets are like. You're just doing this for clout. No shit. Oh, now where's... Oh, so now the person who exploited Ed I can't say his name. Etika's death. I'm gonna say it. Etika's death for views is gonna preach to us. True, dude. Taking stuff to court is a lengthy process that not a lot of people want to go through. No shit. Not the motherfucker who made three a.m. All right. So let's just read through the replies of J Station's shit fucking take. Uh, immediately mine. You see the first one right there. How you doing, Jay? Go fuck yourself. Jay, you need to shut your mouth. You are the last person to say anything. Go back to the corner of the world where we can't see you anymore. J Station, dumb as fuck. Also, this one is way better. This you. I love the simple this you. This you and whatever bullshit is going on and you just tweet at that person their fucking worst shit that is 100% valid. That is amazing. Saying goodbye to my girlfriend. My girlfriend died. She broke up with you because you beat her. You fucking scumbag. You fucking absolute cretin of a human being. You know what? Go get arrested again. How about you go get arrested for trespassing? How about... uh? How about you go back on Dr. Phil and bitch and moan and then put out a fake tweet saying Dr. Phil's going to help me get my YouTube channel back. Yeah, you pathetic slime. You're so fucking pathetic, Jay. You are literally the most pathetic person to ever fucking comment on this shit. Fail of the year, bro. Your entire channel got fucking deleted because you made content for children that was severely against TOS. But Jay, listen, you fucking troglodyte. You fucking Philistine. You goddamn brain dead bald bitch. Shut your mouth. Nobody wants to hear your bullshit. I don't know, dude. I think it's something about bald people. Except for, um, what is it? Except for, uh, True Jordy. True Jordy's not crazy. He just likes to have people shit on his chest. <laughs> and Vsauce Vsauce is also a good one As Is Asmogold bald? I don't watch Asmogold Vsauce is mwah, Chef's Kiss Best memester and science channel on YouTube Outside of Michael Reeves Michael Reeves is like un Untouchable But Jay, my, my final thought Go fuck yourself, you're a goddamn troglodyte And you're dumber than any other fucking person That's ever had a goddamn platform but basically, YouTube has responded to the act man in just the worst way possible. Guys, look, the most spooky thing that YouTube can, uh, except for Reddit mods. Reddit mods are Reddit. Reddit is Reddit. I don't even know what to say about Reddit. I love Reddit, but I also hate Reddit. I love and hate Reddit so much. But listen, guys, 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 this is the scariest thing in the world to YouTube right now. A cucumber. What's going to happen? It's just sitting there menacingly. No, I understand, bloody. I do. Damn, your Discord, you're, you're a Discord mod and a Redditor mod moaning. <laughs> so this is something that I didn't see. We're, we're, I, this is new to me. One last thing. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd it go? That was important. That looked important. One last thing. I found out my video was taken down while stream. Yeah, 10 minutes later. While still streaming, my brother was doxxed. These are the texts he received. Dude saw Quantum TV's videos and looked up my family. YouTube is complicit in doxing. Oh, my God. I didn't think Actman was actually going to release the information about his brother's dox. This is insanity. All right, let's read some of these fucking texts. Ackman looking great on Twitch. Who is this? Quantum TV. Oh, shit. Axe Callo Raptor. Thank you for the follow. Dungeon Master Blaster. He's going scorched earth. 
Yeah, he is. This is this is wild shit happening right now, bro. Who the fuck doxes people? Uh, assholes, losers and assholes, losers and assholes, losers and assholes. Dox dox people. Incels dox people. Fucking small dick losers dox people. <laughs> Did you just say league players? <laughs> uh, I never played a goddamn game of League of Legends in my life. Uh, good troll, LMAO. How did you get this number? I can't read that. Will I continue? Now his video is down. Cease and dis desist. He can't even spell desist right. What a fucking troglodyte. What do you mean? Check his most recent tweet. One of his videos got taken down. What the fuck does that even mean? What is this? What is this? What is this snake language in this text here? What was that? Got some weird characters there. I don't understand. Thank you, Act Bro. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, must be an Android user. Yes, sir. iPhone for you. Tell him all I want is peace. What do you mean? Deliver the message blank. My guy, you're going to have to be more specific. I'm willing to talk to you. I don't know what the fuck that means. All I want is peace. Do I need to be more specific? Yeah, I think so. I don't even know if this is the real Quantum TV. No, this is not the real Quantum TV, lol. Sorry, I took this too far. I'm actually a big Actman fan. Anyways, how slash why am I texting you? Because I was watching some of Quantum's videos about t talking to his slash your mom. Wondering how he got that number. Kelly tweeting out, what? His full name a while ago. And it's pretty... Not that, uh, what, what the fuck? Kelly tweeting out his full name a while ago and it's pretty easy to find him online because you have such a unique last name on us. Phone book, it lists all your family members and addresses. It's actually pretty creepy. If you can, get you and your family removed off there ASAP. I guess this is kind of a hypothetical of me because I was acting pretty creepy myself. Sorry again, his video happened to be get taken down right as I texted you, which is impeccable timing. I thought it would roll with it but it started to feel bad what the fuck is this idiot what listen to the asshole that texted the act man's brother you're a fucking idiot even if you are a fan of act man which i fucking highly doubt you are the sheer fact that you would breach privacy like that and do that as a fan you are deranged i'm not gonna lie to any of you if any of you got my private cell phone number or anything of privacy from me, I would fucking lose my shit on you. I would be the meanest motherfucker you've ever seen. In person, if you want to say hi, whatever. Sounds fine. But the second you get my private number that I did not give you or anything about me that I don't want out there, you, you, oh, that's not going to go well for you. But I don't think I don't think that this guy is an Actman fan. It's just bullshit. Actman looking great on Twitch. Who is this? Quantum TV. Why the fuck are you trolling them? Why are you trolling them? And to be honest, the fact that Quantum's video that is still let's let's take a look here. I, I, I promised myself I wasn't going to go on Quantum's channel anymore. But the video of Quantum breaking down how to find the act man is causing this issue. Which, guess what, guys? Just, just, just guess what? Is promoting doxing. YouTube, you fucked up. You fucked up. You took out the wrong guy and you need to fucking learn that you took out the wrong fucking guy. And that, that's really it right now. YouTube is really fucking this up. Whoever's in charge of the Ackman, Ackman's case is a fucking brain-dead troglodyte. I feel bad for them, whoever's doing this. But now that Susan is being tagged in literally everything, Susan has to say something. Susan has to start stepping in and being like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I picture Susan. This is how I picture Susan. No shit. Literally no shit. This is how I picture Susan. Watch this. This, this is how I picture the actual situation. She's on vacation, right? She's hanging out. She's like, oh, it's Pride Month. Everything's going to be great. This is, this is it. All right, who the fuck allowed all these mentions in my Twitter? 
for fucking bullshit. What is going on here? I just picture her coming back from like vacation into the office, getting mad that people are tweeting at her and she's just yelling at whoever's in charge of the act man situation. That's how I picture this entire situation right now. That's how I picture YouTube right now. She went on vacation or she's dealing with something else and she just ran into the office and was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yes, I literally picture it like the SpongeBob meme as well, Slayer. Uh, Quantum TV ass apology when? Mm, never. Never. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you there will never be an apology. There is a lot of evidence that we're gaining right now. So that's all I have to say about that. Just minus the fire. True. Minus the fire. Minus the fire. So I just want to talk about that with you guys today. That, that That's really it. I just wanted to update not only the YouTube channel, but uh, the Twitch channel about this. 